Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. And today we're gonna be covering how to kite in League of Legends. I first started playing on ADC and then I went to Kindred. So I'm pretty much kiting a lot. Every single game I'm kiting and I'm playing a uh, support with Senna. So that also it's an ADC that you gotta kite. Uh, not as much as the other ones, but still. And I just think I'm decent at it. Uh, some people comment on it uh, on a couple of videos, so. I, I just I, I might as well right uh, help you guys out so first things first I just want to show you all on the settings there's a couple important things the first one it's on the hotkeys and you're gonna come to bind auto attack move to left click and this is gonna make that when you left click you auto attack like a champion right as you can see I'm clicking right to move and then I left click and I auto attack um, the enemy uh, this is if you want to kite with your left click right and then also if you're gonna kite uh, pressing a you're gonna come to hmm. one hour later you're gonna come to hotkeys player movement and then a player attack move you're gonna use a but that's uh, what most people use and that's why you say a click uh, kiting and uh, that's if you wanna kite uh, pressing A, which you're gonna see I'm pressing right to move, and then I press A, and you're gonna see how it kinda shows uh, my range, right? And that's, uh, and then you press left click. And then uh, another setting which is really important is the attack move on, curs on cursor, because you can still have it activated, right? So that means that if I'm, I'm right here and uh, it's gonna auto attack whatever is closer to my mouse whenever I click and if you have it um, disabled it's always gonna attack the closest uh, enemy to you and that's bad because if there's like minions on the way uh, it's gonna prioritize the minions if they're close instead of the enemy right so pretend this is the, the minion pretend this is the enemy you wanna auto attack them but you're gonna be auto attacking uh, whatever is close to you unless you click on their head. But if you click like on the floor, you're gonna always auto attack whatever is closer to your champion, which it isn't always like the best, right? Another just quick tip is that uh, remember to press S. For example, I'm auto attacking here, and if I press like S, I'm gonna stop all my movements, uh, all my attacks. Just really important to learn how to use your S key to stop all actions. And another important thing for settings is that I find that having uh, your camera unlocked makes it easier to kite because then you're going to be clicking in consistent spots, right? The camera's not going to be moving. And whenever like you're getting too far off, you can just press space real quick and recenter the camera on you. And I just find that uh, it makes it a lot more comfortable for you to kite instead of having the camera locked because then the camera's going to be moving with you and I feel like you can mess up your clicks sometimes, especially like if you're doing like really close like this. But that's just a me opinion. Do whatever you like the most. But I say that like for everything in the game, just having the camera unlocked just helps you so much, especially in the long run, right? So that's pretty much it for the settings part. And I'm gonna show you all the three different ways you can kite. You, I mean, I already showed you, but I'm gonna also list some pros and cons, and y'all can decide whatever you like the most. So first one is right clicking, uh, this one, it's pretty simple, you're gonna click on them and you're gonna click on the floor, right? But that's it. It's pretty simple, it's what most people start with. Uh, they have a couple pros, which is lower inputs, right? You just gotta click on them and on the floor. So you're cutting just with your right click of the mouse and nothing else. Also, it does exactly what you, what you tell the game to do, so if you click here, this means that you're gonna be auto attacking that person, no more, no less. But the cons is that, first of all, uh, you gotta move the mouse a long distance, right? If you're kiting back, for example, you gotta move your mouse, like, I see how, how far I gotta move my mouse here? Uh, which, if you're doing like really, with a lot of attack speed, it makes it harder, right? Because you gotta do it really fast. Another con, which I think is the worst part and uh, why you shouldn't choose this, is that you can misclick, right? So for example, oh, I'm kiting, I'm kiting, I'm kiting, I'm kiting. And then I misclick, I'm gonna walk in the direction of the enemy. And that's bad, right? Especially if you're playing, you're playing like a squishy ADC. 
and if you move in their direction it just makes their life so much easier to kill you now for our second option is a clean which is uh, what I do a couple pros is that it's really reliable and also it shows your auto attack range right so it's pretty much you don't have to click on their head you can just like click on the floor next to them and that makes it really easy for you to kite but the cons is that it's a lot of inputs right so you gotta right click to move you gotta press a you gotta press left click and you gotta right click again to move so there's like four buttons you gotta press which can make it kind of complicated and also another thing is that it's gonna use your left hand right it's gonna use your hand that's supposed to be on the keyboard so if I'm playing Ash here and I'm auto attacking and moving right with A and I want to press Q, for me I'm going to have to use the same same uh, finger to activate the Q ability which uh, it can make you a little confused right uh, and it's kind of hard right because you, you got to do it really fast so there's a small chance you might misclick something my fat finger uh, another button. Now last but not least is uh, one that I, I never did it. Uh, I kind of want to learn. I'm kind of practicing a little bit, which is just left click. No way, only left click. So you're gonna press right to move, your right button to move, and just left to auto attack, right? This one is pretty similar to the A click. And as you can see, uh, a couple pros is that it's um, also very reliable. And there's only like one extra input instead of the right clicking, so you just gotta press right and left on the mouse, and that's it. But a couple of cons is that whenever you like you're clicking on the minimap, you're gonna start moving there. Oh, let me get out of range, right? So if I click here to look at it, my character is gonna start moving the direction, which uh, it can like kind of uh, fuck you up if you're not paying attention. And also, I find it a little confusing, and that might just be a me thingy. A mid thing, but since I'm not like using my left hand and only my right one, it gets me a little. I don't know, man. It just weirds me out a little bit. But that's just personal, and I know a lot of people that use this, and they are very su successful using it. So those are the three ways you can kite. All right. Uh, choose, uh, test all of them. Uh, choose the one you feel most comfortable with, and just practice it. Now, how to get better? Uh, it's purely muscle memory, right? Uh, I've been uh, I've been without playing league for a couple of days, and I can already feel that I'm a little worse at it. So you gotta practice, practice, practice. It's the only way to get better. Now the actual way is either you come to uh, the training grounds, like I am right here, and you practice for a little bit, right? Or you go in game and practice in game, which is um, a lot more fun, I'll admit. But it will take a little longer for you to get the hang of it. So just do whatever you want, whatever you have, whatever you have time for. Just remember to have fun uh, doing it. Now I'm gonna show you guys here. Uh, let me make sure I have the. So the th the things that I like to do is pretty much to yeah the left. You can see how the left click is kind of <laughs> it's kind of killing me here, right? I'm just gonna unbite it, make my life a little easier when I'm while I'm here. So first of all, uh, something that I like to do uh, first uh, is just to go in a circle and kites, right? As you can see, I just go in a circle and then I come back. I just do this a little bit, help, it helps to warm your hands. And something else, like you're kiting backwards, so it's gonna start right next to the dummy, and you're gonna just go backwards while you kite, and try to not mess it up, okay? So those are the two things you can practice, practice that I think it helps a lot. You can also go forward if you feel like it. You know, just, just play around with it, see whatever works for you, and do it. And now, something that um, I'm just like, I, I kind of brainstormed a little bit and I thought it was like pretty good which is uh, which champions you should play so I'd say if you want to start uh, kiting you don't have much experience Ash is your best champion to do it it's a pretty simple quick kit it's quite effective it does not deal a lot of damage but it slows the enemy so that I also gonna help you give a little more time and every auto attack is gonna slow them again and that's actually really really good practice right and then after Ash, um, I advise you to go to Jinx. Uh, Jinx is a little more complicated because instead of slowing the enemy, you get fast, right? So if you get a takedown, you're gonna get the low steroids, and you're gonna move, be moving super, super fast, and it's gonna be a little hard to control. But it's also an excellent champion to get better at kiting. It's just gonna take some time getting used to it. And I say after you're very comf comfortable with Jinx, you have uh, two choices. In my opinion one is to go full space glider like red IRL and just kite into oblivion 
find a Lulu to do you and <laughs> Yo, we in this game now. Oh, fucking his mother got his thingy. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh. Oh, okay. make sure you never take damage. You guys, we gotta do something here. Oh my god, I'm so good. Holy shit. Just be fucking dodging the fucking ult. Just got the 5,000 uh, clicks per minute, right? Uh, and those teams are like Twitch and Cog, and there's a couple more, but those are like the two that come to mind. And those you're gonna have to have crazy hands to pull it off. And also, uh, there's champions that you're gonna wave abilities in between. And the champions that came to mind to me was Varus and Vayne, right? So for example, you're gonna be kiting, 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 and then you're gonna use an ability, and then. You you gotta do it with every champion, but those two, especially, I think that you're gonna be having to alternate a lot to maximize what you're getting out of the champion. So I feel like those are the two options you have whenever you're picking uh, the more like ability focused ADCs, right? But don't let me tell you what to play. Uh, play whatever you like. Have fun playing the game. I feel like kiting is the most fun mechanic in the game. It's just so fun, like seeing your enemy is struggling to get to you and their health bar depleting is very re rewarding and that's the, my favorite that's absolutely my favorite thing on the game so if you want to do it too go for it and that's pretty much it for you guys uh, i'm sorry if i uh, stuttered a little bit or if i had like some blank periods of time it's just it's really hard to do this and talk at the same time right <laughs> i had a script ready here but if you're talking and doing this, it takes a lot of brain power. It's really hard. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So if you guys liked, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.